Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be at. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be at. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about the nightlife in Bucharest. The nightlife in Bucharest. Let me tell you something, gentlemen, men, women. <laughs> Insane. One word. Insane. Uh, the best nightlife that I have experienced in my entire life, uh, minus the music selection, was in Bucharest. They know how to party. They just aren't investing in a building uh, with music, some you know, party city lights, uh, and a DJ. They are full out giving you an experience. They are full out having people dance. They are full out having people in costumes. You might see somebody hanging from a wall. You might see Spider-Man, you know, cast his web across the club. These people are giving you a full-blown experience. Lights, theatrics, it is amazing. And I have, like I said, I party in a lot of places in the world, uh, and I've never experienced anything like this in my entire life. Let's talk about a few things. The club that I went to is K-A-Y-O. Uh, and it was an amazing club. You know, I'm going to throw, show clips of that particular club that I went to. It was amazing. It was. Uh, I got a bottle. Um... I didn't get my, you know, preferred bottle, Jack and Coke. Uh, I mean, Jack Daniels and Honey and some Coca-Cola, but I did get a bottle. Um, I got some wine or something, uh, something that wasn't that expensive because my intentions on going to this particular club was to go to this club, stay for a little while, leave, go somewhere else. But that did not happen. I got the cheapest bottle, probably not the cheapest bottle. But one of the cheapest bottles on the menu because I had zero intentions on being at this club all night. But guess what? Excuse me. I was at this club all night. All night long. Uh, until it got to a point where I'm like, hey, man, it's really, it's really time to go. Uh, let me go home and get some sleep. I planned on bar hopping or club hopping. Uh, things didn't always go out as planned. Uh, one of the more popular clubs in Bucharest is Face Club. <clears throat> I have never been to Face Club, but when I go back to Bucharest, I am going to Face Club. They are throwing like an all-out Las Vegas experience. Face Club... Is 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 doggone throwing events and, and and dancing and all sorts of shows like this was some great place in Las Vegas and you were spending fifty or hundred dollars to get in and they brought in performers. The performers in Face Club are top notch. You can go to their Instagram. You can find people hanging from the wall. You would think you was at a doggone Chris Brown concert. Bucharest knows how to party. I will say that 100 more times. Bucharest knows how to party. Uh, in my personal opinion, from talking to people, Face Club is the most popular club in Bucharest. Hmm. If you ask somebody where they went on the weekend, Nine times out of ten, they're going to say Face Club. Let me be honest with you. Uh, I know that KOYO Club, KOYO, or whatever the name of the club is, I know that they have promoted, like, Latin or Afro beats or something. I don't know. Or maybe they remixed the heck out of some songs. Uh, but you was not really listening to no Latin or Afro beat. Uh, a lot of the music selection. Uh, it's not really a top ten, top twenty uh, top 100 playlist. Let's be honest. When you go into these countries, you can't expect them to play 
whatever the latest rapper is out. You can't expect them to play the, the latest R&B single with the hit song. You can't expect them to play uh, the, the latest Afro Beats song, Devado or, or Burner Boy or one of these other artists. You can't go to these countries and expect them to play these top 10, top 20, top 100 American playlists because it's really not going to happen. With these different countries, they have music that they're into, whether it's techno, whether it's rock, whether it's the latest artist, the latest hip hop artist, the latest R&B artist. These countries, and I had to understand this the hard way, these countries are not catering to Americans or American music when 95% of the people in there are locals. They aren't catering to American music when there's one American guy in an entire club of 100 people. They are not. And I had to learn that growing up. Like, Man, I'm going to these clubs. This is a tourist destination. For, so I think. But everyone in there is not tourists. Everyone in there lives in that city. They aren't trying to hear this top 100 playlist from Apple or Spotify. So I will say, even though the music was not bad at, at the club I went to or Face Club, it is definitely not any music that you can find on my iTunes. It's definitely nothing you're going to find on my iPod. It's nothing you're going to hear me listen to at the gym or in my car. It's no music that I would listen to, but that doesn't mean the music was bad because it wasn't. nothing that I would download and listen to on my way to work or coming home. All right, the bottle prices are uh, at the clubs. You know, if I went to one and it's, I don't, I think I paid $100 for a bottle of wine. Let's be honest, outside of uh, Romania, 99% uh, of menus, you're not going to find anything for $100. Let's be honest. You're not going to find any bottle on any club or any bottle's menu or any bar's menu where the, the cheapest bottle is $100. Let's just be honest. You know, I was in, uh, I'm not going to name the city, but I was in one city and I bought, you know, some cheap vodka and the cheap vodka was like $250. So from a bottle's perspective, from an alcohol's perspective, the alcohol prices were reasonable. I personally suggest buying bottles, especially places where you know you're going to probably stay the whole night. 
Because you spend, let's say, for I didn't buy any, you know, cups or glasses. I bought a whole bottle when I went in there. But let's say, for example, you go somewhere, you spend $20 uh, uh, on a glass of Jack and Coke or Long Island, whatever the case may be, and you're there for a couple hours and you buy five of those, what's that? What's 20, what's 20 times five? That's $100. That's how much my bottle costs. Uh, 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 uh. And let's say you're with someone. Let's say with a man, a woman, uh, uh, and both of y'all are, are drinking, you know, multiple drinks. That 100 times two just turned into $200. I feel like in some places it is just worth it to buy a bottle. And I'm not saying you go to Dubai and you buy a $600 bottle. Was it worth it? No. There are places where you buying a bottle is not in your financial best interest unless you're trying to show off and attract attention. If you're just a regular guy, you know, going somewhere, trying to have a good time, uh, uh, buying a bottle might be in your best interest in the long run. If I don't want to be there a couple hours, buying a bottle might be in my best interest because I know if I'm not buying a bottle, I'm going to have multiple drinks. We have to know, not just from a Bucharest standpoint, but from a worldwide standpoint, that bartenders, club owners, are not giving you a drink to get you drunk. If they get you a drink to get you drunk, you ain't coming back and spending no more money. So these drinks are watered down. These drinks are filtered. They're not giving you what you think you deserve. Because if it was strong and you got drunk, you're probably not coming back for another one. So, of course, they're forcing you to have drink after drink after drink after drink. And you do the math. You might as well just bought a bottle. All right, what people want to know. Let's get to what people want to know. Were there attractive females in this place? That's what you wanted to know, didn't you? I know you did. Uh, let me be honest with you. Uh, if you are someone who's been following my page or listening to my, my videos, I like voluptuous women. I like uh, uh, women that, that are curvy, specifically on the backside. Uh, I like, you know, a, 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 a above average size, but that's just what I like on a woman. Uh, you know, my ex, Alicia, you know, she didn't really have the 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 the, the backside that I would have preferred. Uh, but everything else was all right. You know, I enjoyed everything else about her. But she was probably she probably had the flattest uh, uh, backside of all the women I've dated in my entire life. Just being honest, like she probably had the flattest backside of every woman I've dated in my life. Uh, but I'll talk about that in another story. But on that note, uh, were there curvy women in there? Uh, maybe two, um, maybe two, uh, and I, I don't know, you know, let's say this, anywhere I go, I'm going to shoot my shot, right? That's just me. Like I'm, 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 I'm going to shoot some shots. And if you watch any famous basketball star, Kyrie, uh, uh, LeBron, uh, whoever your favorite basketball star is. If you watch a full game, just not in ESPN highlights, you're going to see they miss some shots. But does ESPN, do they show the missed shots that these, these NBA superstars made? Do they show these shots not going in the basket? Of course not. They're going to show LeBron making the shot, making those threes, making those jumpers that pull up. But if you watch the full game, he missed some shots. So I said that. Excuse me. I said that to say I took some shots and I missed them. I took some shots and I missed them. Uh, and that's that. Um, I actually took a shot twice uh, and I missed twice. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, sometimes people aren't used to you. Sometimes people aren't used to uh, and aren't interested in what you are presenting and what you look like. Uh, let's say I've never seen a, a, a a Chinese woman a day in my life, uh, and I come in contact with a Chinese woman. I'm probably not that attracted to Chinese women because I've never dated one, uh, and it's it's new to me. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Maybe it went over your head. But I said that to say that were there curvy women in there? Maybe one or two. Uh, like I said, I like you know I like a butt. Uh, uh, I like my women to have a backside. I have seen maybe one or two on with a backside. In the whole place, and that's it. Um, I do what I suggest you do. I need to sit by the entrance. 
I need to sit and see things coming in. I don't want to sit at the back of the club. I don't want to sit in the middle. I need to sit at the entrance. I need you to walk past me when you come in the club because I want to see you. I want to see you. So I said that to say that Bucharest Nightlife is great. It's amazing. Uh, I highly suggest it. If you're in the area, go ahead, buy a bottle. It's not that cheap. Buy something cheap like I did just to enjoy the scenery. When you see something in the scenery that you like, pursue it. You know, offer up, offer her up to 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 your table, your section, or whatever the case may be. What I did not like about this club, uh, the one thing I did not like about this club is, uh, and I've never experienced this before. I had someone come and sit to the right of me, a uh, little section to the right of me. Uh, it was one guy, uh, and he brought like ten of his friends. At least, I'm not when I say ten, I mean ten. Uh, it was like eleven people that were supposed to share one bottle. How that works? I don't know. I guess they was going to split the bill. Uh, or I guess he was showing off. Uh, but that says something to the club staff um, about me not being able to see. Like, there was literally, it was literally so many people in his section with one bottle. It was literally so many people in his section with one bottle that I could not see in front of me. Literally in front of me, when I was sitting there, was people. Literally. I was watching people in the club. The people in his section. That's what that's that's what people I'm talking about. Uh, so I asked, uh, I told the club staff, and I wanted them to see me. You know, I'm, I'm, it is what it is. I, I called the club staff over there. I said, Hey, I can't see. Move these people. You know, they looking at me. I'm looking at them. Uh, maybe 20 minutes later, they all left. You know, they made me feel uncomfortable. I made them feel uncomfortable. Uh, word of the day is, don't come to the club and buy one bottle with 15 people, 10 people. You look crazy. You look ridiculous. Uh, but other than that, other than a bad experience of, of, you know, one person with one bottle and 10 people in the section, uh, I had a good time. Uh, would I go back to that club? Uh, maybe. Uh, but when I go back to Bucharest, which I will, I am going to go to Face Club and one or two other places that I've heard of um, that I meant to go to, but I got this got cut off in the moment. But Bucharest Nightlife uh, from a 1 to 10, minus the music, got a minus a point for the music, uh, 9 out of 10. Matter of fact, minus a point and a half of music, 8.5 out of 10. Still a great place to go, the place I went, or any other club in the Bucharest area. Any questions, comments, concerns?